Hello, this is Toph from Trifo Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can create rows in Blender fairly easily uh, by using this add-on called the City Road Builder. It's not free. It's uh, uh, for the amount of money, it's not too bad. Uh, but it helps you create rows in Blender fairly quickly and easily. This is the older version of it. The newer version of it, you can create crossroads in it, but with this version, it doesn't have that feature. And it's for Blender 2.8, uh, up to 3.0 and above. I'm using Blender 2.92, and it works pretty pretty nice in this version of Blender. Now, I'll, I'll leave a link of it uh, below this video so you can download it yourself and check it out. But the installation process is still the same. Just go to Edit, Preferences, Install, navigate to where you've downloaded it on your system, click on that Download, uh, Downloaded File, Zip File, probably, and click on Install Add-on. And once you've done that, let's type in city here. Here it is right here. You put a check in the box and it activates it. And it'll be on the right hand side of your interface in Blender on the toolbar. Uh, let's get rid of this default cube by pressing delete on our keyboard. Let's click on that arrow and we'll see that this is what the add-on looks like uh, without it being used or opened uh, for, for use. Uh, but when you click on this, this is the only thumbnail that it has for the older version. It gives you five different kinds of rows. Let's click, let's stick with our default row. Let's click on that and click on setup road. Now this renders in EV and in cycles. So let's click on that icon that to change the viewport to EV. And basically in cycles, it looks better, but in EV it's faster. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna use EV. Now you can increase the number of uh, the length of the row by clicking on this repeat option here, left click, left click, left click. And we have a longer piece or stretch of road here. Let's uh, kind of lighten this up so we can see what this looks like, the detail. Go to our world settings, click on that to raise up the level of brightness. And let's click on our blue to give it more of a natural sky color. Let's zoom in, scroll up on our mouse, so we can see the details in there. And if you go down here, you can see the wetness and the detail in the reflections. Now, in order for you to see the wetness pretty visibly, you'll have to crank up the detail amounts to around 20. Type in 20, enter. And if we increase our wetness here, it should reflect or show us how wet this is getting. Maybe decrease that. Oh, there it is, yeah. Once we de decrease that value there, you can see that there are parts of the road that are wet and some parts that are dry, which is, is pretty nice. Uh, you can increase the light specular and the darkness in here also. Increase the size of the puddles on the x-axis. You see, if we, as we move our parameter here, it, it changes the size of our puddles so they look more realistic, more length to them. Now, there's some... Um, some repetition here. You can see this line kind of stops this puzzle from actually stretching across, but you can just adjust the X axis so it doesn't really uh, have an effect on the way the puddles stretch over the uh, road there. Scale on the Y axis also. So that's pretty nice. You can increase the bump. Right now it's at 0.43. If we zoom in a little bit more, we can see the bump uh, is going to be more visible as we drag up this value more. See, it's more visible, the cracks are more visible, the roughness of the rows are more visible, which is nice also. Uh, you have some more parameters here. You can add a curve to it. Uh, but the thing with the curve that I've seen since I've been using this add-on is that the curves aren't that smooth. It's pretty jagged, not over overwhelmingly so, but it's still visible. So I would kind of leave the cur leave this out unless you want to have a curve. If you want to have a curve in here, when it comes to animated, animating it with the camera, it's probably best to kind of avoid showing that edge of the curve of the road. That way you don't have that uh, rough kind of look to it. Um, let me show what I mean actually. Let's add curve. Now it's added a curve for us. And you can see as we zoom in, it's, it added a busier curve so I can follow that curve. But you can see that it's not as smooth as it's supposed to be. But it is what it is. I mean, the add-on still works pretty good. 
you can see there's some repetition in the pattern of the puddle. So if you want to animate this once again with the car driving over, just make sure you kind of leave out kind of uh, wide shots. That way people won't be able to see how repetitive it is. But Adam can also do other things. And it's just by clicking in these boxes. If you want to add a barrier to uh, your road, uh, just click on, put a check in that box and see the barriers right there. And the barrier comes with the texture too. Only thing is the texture looks too shiny. It doesn't look as rough as a used barrier would look, but that's there. You can add, add sidewalks by clicking on that checkbox there. And the sidewalks, they're pretty good too, but they're kind of thick. A little bit on the thick side. If you were to put a person in this scene in terms of scale, the sidewalks are kind of a little bit bigger than the person would be uh, st when the person would be standing next to it. But you can just keep that in mind. I uh, can add lights too, and these are functioning lights that actually have a texture, a light texture applied to them. Let's change our viewports, our world lights, by uh, clicking on that uh, option there, that uh, color box, I'll call it, and make it darker. You can see the lights are, the lights are on. They're on like that, and that's uh, that's pretty helpful. So you don't have to animate that or actually apply the emission yourself because they they already have emissions applied to them. And we're going to do one more thing: check one more box, which is the overpass. And once you've add, added the overpass to it, it'll get rid of the sidewalks because an overpass is what is a kind of a road that's above ground. I'll show you what I mean by clicking on that overpass option there. You see that it's eliminated the sidewalks because some overpasses have sidewalks, some don't. This one does not have it. But yeah, this is that add-on. And if you don't want, if you want to start from scratch with this, just click on Clear Road, and it gets rid of the whole road, the whole operation just in general. So yeah, that's the uh, Seed Road Builder. It's a pretty straightforward add-on, and it works pretty good. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip. And once again, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, those of you who are subscribing in the future. And I really hope this video was helpful for those of you who are watching. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.